What's up guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and today we're going to be doing a little different video again because I like the speculation videos. We're going to be talking about the top three characters to be farming right now that will be getting reworks within the foreseeable future. One of them could be getting a rework within the next six days and probably have a capital ship added him to, uh, to him as well. And then we're going to start at the bottom and I'm going to read just not obviously through their kit, just read each character's name and mention which ones I think will be getting a rework soon in the future. But first, we're going to start with the top three. So those of you that just want to see the top three can move on from there. If all of you that are subscribed to my channel are subscribed to Arnold T101's channel, which I'm guessing you are, you would know that he has made a video saying that if General Grievous doesn't get a rework within like the first quarter, he's deleting his channel. Well, one, CG would never let that happen, so they'd go to a rework they'd work night and day just to get that and two I'm guessing he had inside information on that as well plus they have mentioned that he is getting a rework CG has mentioned it before it's not a secret it's just when it's going to come out and we forget with Revan and Chewie and other things happening this month that the login character is Night Sister Spirit and we were thinking she's the login character because General Grievous is going to be getting a rework. And like I said, I think he'll get it by Halloween, which is in six days. So we have General Grievous. Please farm him. Start gearing him up. Now, here's the question I have myself. He's going to get a rework. How dominant is he going to be? I think he's going to be key because I think he's going to get the invisible hand. I almost guarantee that myself. He'll be getting a capital ship. We just have Rev or we just Revan just released. We have Treya. Uh, we have CLS with Chewbacca. What is General Grievous? How is he going to fit into the new meta? Will he be meta-defining? Will there be a droid, uh, you know, crew that can compete in the top? Here's the deal. I just don't want one team that's able to dominate the arena like it was with CLS when he first came out. I like the variety. I love the idea that we can have a Grievous-led team competing with a Revan team, a Revan team competing with a Treya team, and so on and so forth. I think that's amazing. It allows diversity in the game, diversity in arena. So when he gets his rework, where will he fit? Will he fit into arena with a droid combination or a separatist combination if they get a rework as well, if Dooku gets a rework? That's the question I have, but I know for a fact, and yes, I'm saying that, so for all of you that are going to put in the comment sections, how do you know for a fact that he is going to get a rework within the soon foreseeable future? Within three months. So, where do you find him? You find him in the shard store. I think he's still in the fleet arena store. Um, at times, I haven't farmed him, and I don't even look in that as much anymore because I always just get Zeta mats out of that. So get him, get him from the shard store, start getting him leveled up. Now that I'm finished with uh, Revan and Chewie, I can finally start focusing on other characters, gearing other characters, and he is going to be in the top of my list. So get him to seven star, gear him up. Now the other two characters, I think that will be getting a rework soon. Now this is speculation. This may not happen. I'm just giving you my opinion. When I first got the game, two years ago now, I farmed Mace Windu right away because I'm like, he's got to be the most powerful character. He's iconic. He defeated Darth Sidious slash Emperor Palpatine in a lightsaber duel. He is known as probably the best lightsaber duelist of all time, if we're talking canon, potentially. He's got to be powerful. And honestly, he's one of the worst characters in the game. But we know that the Clone Wars TV series is getting two extra seasons, so this gives them a huge opportunity to give these characters reworks. So, Mace Windu, where can you find him? Squad Arena Store. Start farming him there, guys. Unless you're farming some other characters there first, I would start working on him because I think he's going to get a rework. Now, I'm not saying stop what you're doing if you're farming another character that's important. You know, obviously you want to get Asajj and a few of the other if Phoenix if you don't have them before this. But he's somebody I think you should have in your back pocket and have farmed up at least a seven star so when he does get a rework and he does become viable, hopefully, you have him ready and then you can gear him up when he... When that time comes, maybe he's going to fit into the Jedi meta rev somewhere with Revan. I don't know, but I just have a feeling that when that Clone Wars rework happens, he will be getting a rework as well. And then Jedi Knight Anakin, he did have a rework like two years ago, but he's just too iconic of a character not to be dominant in the game. He is the, you know, probably one of the main protagonists of the Clone Wars TV series. The whole prequel trilogy is about him. CLS, Commander Luke Skywalker, is g game defining. Anik Jedi Knight Anakin should be the same way. This is the Anakin Skywalker before he became Darth Vader. He should be dominant. 
He should be, uh, you know, absolutely brutal to face in certain aspects of the game. And he's not. He's a very average, decent character. I think he should be more, and I definitely think he will be getting a rework. So please, you can find him in... Uh, I would definitely farm him in uh, 7G Cantina Battles. Now, I'm not saying stop everything and farm him right now. Get the older public characters. Get the vets if you don't have them to get JTR and, and Revan the next time around. But if you do have some free energy on your hands, I would start getting uh, Jeneta Anakin up there if you don't have him because I think he will get a massive rework and become meta-defining. Again, I like to use that term a lot, but it is my personal opinion. If you think I'm nuts with these three, let me know. I just have a feeling that these ones are definitely going to be getting the best reworks because of the most iconic. Now we're going to stop from the bottom. Now I hit whatever how that song goes. I don't know. But we'll take a look. I don't want just Galactic Republic. I want all. And I'm just going to read through and go through the ones I think they'll be getting a rework. Will Wampa get a rework? Absolutely not. Treya, no. Vander Chewbacca, no. Range Trooper, no. First Order Executioner, no. Young Lando, no. Wicket, no. Rose, gosh, I hope not. They could take her out of the game and I wouldn't be disappointed at all. Low Grey, First Order... Uh, Special Forces Tire Pilot, Amelyn Holdo, Young Han Solo, IPD, Nice Sister Spirit, again, she's the login character, we've kind of forgotten about that, Tusken Shaman, Tusken Raider, Sunfact, Pago the Lesser, Poplu, Old Daka, yeah, then we have Newt Gunray, could Newt Gunray be getting a rework, there's potential, there's potential with the uh, uh, extra seasons of the Clone Wars series, with if we get Clone Wars rework in general, and maybe he can have a capital ship too, I think it's far less likely, but it's something... You can find him in the Squad Arena store. So if you have a bunch of extra, you know, Squad Arena currency, farm him. Get him at seven stars in case you need him. Nice Sister Initiate, Mob Enforcer. Oh, Mob Enforcer. She has a dear place in my heart. She's awful. I was being sarcastic there. HK47. Now, this is interesting. Could he be part of the droid meta if it happens? Also, he is Revan's personal assassin droid. Will he have synergy with him at some point in time, or Darth Revan, if we ever get that character? And it should state that it should be Old Republic. They have Dark Side droid support. He should have the Old Republic tag because he's part of the Ebon Hawk crew, even though he's Dark Side. Um, he could be important, and of course, you can find him in the Squad Arena store as well. Uh, then we will look at Gar Saxon. Now, Eith Koth, man, probably the weakest member on the Jedi Council. Grievous destroyed him in the episode Grievous Intrigue, um, where they needed to rescue him, Eith Koth. And I don't know if he'll get a rework when the Clone Wars series comes out, but you could find him in the Squad Arena store, but he's not important. <laughs> Captain Han Solo, Bodhi. I'm a gun die. I'm a, I'm a gun die. For those of you that don't know, was in one episode of the Clone Wars TV series. It was like season three, episode five, I think. And it was called Supply Lines. And he was helping the Twi'leks defend Ryloth while Bail Organa was on Toydaria trying to convince them to get relief supplies to Ryloth. But then Lot Dodd, the Trade Federation senator, came, said you can't do that because it's a war. Eventually, they snuck supplies to the planet. And I'm a gun die. I'm a gun died. He, he was gone, okay? He was in one episode. He died valiantly. He actually was a good character during that episode. And I don't think he'll get a rework, but he actually is decent as an early game character. Um, so we have him. That's a Clone Wars series. Chief Chirpa, no. Zam Wessel just got a rework. Tebow, K2SO, Imperial Suit Commander. Now, Commander Cody as a clone. They are good in some aspects of the game. We, they were better earlier in the game. Could the clones be getting a rework? Or could they be adding more clones? I think that would be awesome because I love them as a faction. He is somebody that I think you could probably um, work on farming if you have some extra guild currency because uh, he may get a rework with this Clone Wars uh, TV series when it when you know, when you know it comes out again. I'm not saying that's going to be immediate, but it's something to look at. Then we have Cad Bane. Uh, now he got his rework. Grievous, talked about. Geno Shin Spy, Ewok Elder, Coruscant Underworld Police. Man, they were in like three episodes and it was about finding Ahsoka when she was being frauded. Um, so yeah, definitely Cup. <laughs> um, sarcasm again. Cassian Andor, Jawa, as you can see, most of you are probably screaming at me that I don't have him at six star, but priorities, man, or seven star priorities. IG-100 Magna Guard. Now that could be a, that could happen. Uh, because he, they are Grievous's guards, they could be getting a rework and they could have great synergy with him. It wouldn't surprise me. So this is a character I would also look at and determine um, maybe that's something you should farm when you have some extra energy. Lobot, 
Echo, again, don't know with clones. Gene Ocean Soldier, IG-86 Sentinel, Biston, Gamorrean Guard, Ugnaught, Ewok Scout, Lobot, did I say that earlier? Jawa Engineer, Dengar, Scarif Rebel Pathfinder, uh, JKG, Jedi Knight Guardian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they kind of from the, they say they're from the Galactic Republic. They're from the Old Republic era as well. Jawa Scavenger, uh, uh don't think so. Dothcha, Ayla Sakura. Now, she's still good the way she is. She can fit into a Revan lineup in places. But she is a character that's, you know, comes in the Clone Wars TV series. Maybe she'll get a rework. B2 Super Battle Droid used to be meta-defining. I don't think they'll change him at all. But he could fit into a Grievous rework. You never know. CT5555, Fives. Uh, one of my favorite characters. Chief Nebit, Pow, Hoth Rebel Scout, Clone Wars Chewbacca, Resistance Pilot, Re Hoth Rebel Soldier, Rebel Officer Leia, Kit Fisto, potentially, uh, but I don't think they'd give him a rework. Luke Skywalker, Farm Boy, Veteran Smuggler Chewbacca, First Order Stormtrooper, Captain Phasma, Royal Guard, Vet Smug Han, Magma Trooper, Darth Sidious, Plo Koon, Plo Koon, please give him a rework. He's not just the rework we need, he's the rework we deserve. Okay, most of you think I'm nuts, but he's actually my favorite Jedi in the Clone Wars TV series. He's pretty bad, uh, but I, sh I should say. In fact, if you haven't watched the Clone Wars TV series and you hear me saying Clone Wars over and over and over and over, please do, go find it. You watch the first episode, it's called Ambush. It's with Yoda and he's kicking a bunch of droid butt trying to get the Toydarians to join the Republic when Ventress and Count Dooku intervene. And Plo Koon then had a huge story arc in the second, third, and fourth episode uh, the first season of the Clone Wars was called the Malevolence Arc. It had to do with General Grievous, Dooku, and this huge massive ship called the Malevolence, which had an ion weapon, and it just tore, tore uh, Republic ships apart. And he was found by Anakin Ahsoka. Uh, he helped end up going through the uh, battle that defeated the Malevolence. And then his story arc, when he has to go find Aura and Boba on Florum, and he kicks butt. Seriously, I wish he would get a rework because he is my favorite Jedi. Uh, during that era. Acolyte, Jedi Counselor, Talia, Luminara, again, Clone Wars. I don't think she'll get a rework, though. Kylo Ren, Kira, Akbar, Poe Dameron, Sith Marauder. Hey, his ship just came out, the B-28 Bomber. I'm going to definitely be doing some testing with that, so we'll see how that goes. Stormtrooper, Jyn so Rex. Rex has been dominant forever. He's still pretty good. He won't get a rework. Clone Sergeant, Might. Then we talked about Mace Windu. Stormtrooper Han, no. Finn, no. Director Krennic, no. Savage, he's still pretty good, but he... If we get a Mechanical Legs Maul, it wouldn't surprise me. Ahsoka Tano, you know, I've thought about this because she should be more powerful, but we have Fulcrum Ahsoka, so I don't know if they'll touch her. Lando, Night Sister Zombie, First Order Officer, no. Stormtrooper, or Snow Trooper, no. First, or Princess Leia, no. Wedge, no. Sabine, no. Mother Talzin, no. Sith Assassin, no. Kanan, Darth Maul, maybe we might get another Darth Maul. Zeb, Shore Trooper, Resistance Trooper, First Order TIE Pilot, Chopper, Jedi Knight Anakin, as we talked about. Stark. Not Tony Stark, Colonel Stark, although Tony Stark in this game would be amazing. Um, Sith Trooper, Hera, Undu or Syndulla, not Undula, Syndulla. TFP, whoa, didn't mean to click on that. Biggs, Ray Scavenger, Death Trooper, IG-88, Baze, Obi-Wan, Old Ben, Chirrut, Embu, Grand Moff Tarkin, Greedo, General Kenobi, Boba, Asajj, Barris, Qui-Gon. None of these characters up here. Count Dooku could potentially in the future, but none of these top characters up here will be getting a rework. So yes, I may have bored you going through all those characters, but basically any of the Clone Wars characters could be getting a rework, especially General Grievous, uh, Jedi Knight Anakin, Mace Windu. And it's and again, if, if you love Star Wars in general, if you love this game, check that out. Check that TV series out because you probably think I'm nuts, OCD, talking about it, but it is amazing, and so is Star Wars Rebels. So, that is my opinion on top three, plus the rest of them we talked about. Characters that could be getting reworks in the near future. This is just an... I've made videos on top characters to farm for the future. No, these are characters that will be getting a rework soon. General Grievous, potentially within the next six days. So let me know what you think. Do you think I'm full of it? Do you think this is a waste of time? Um, do you think I'm on track or close? Um, with the characters that will be getting a rework, uh, what new characters do you think will be coming to the game? Not ones that will be getting reworks. Which ones do you think will be coming to the game? Let me know your thoughts, please. If you like the video, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Smash that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends if you 
liked it also and click the little notification bell so you can be alerted to every single video that I post. I'm going to be leaving a link to my Discord server and my Patreon page in the description below. Please check that out. Those things have been growing and look forward to many more videos to come. You guys love my how to mod video series? Leave me comments on what characters uh, you want to see how to be modded. And I'll give you a shout out as well. So check that out. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great day. Peace out and may the force be with you.